Right, Geralt. Looks like it's all over. Thanks for your help, Zoltan. Say nothing of it. Enough yapping. Time for some vodka. First, I want to see if my fuck date's still waiting. Just don't strain yourself. It takes energy to drink with us too, you know. Well, I was going to get down to the fat hairy maiden and a bucket maiden drinking person. Um, but I guess, I guess the cutscene has started this episode. So hey guys, Mick Rips here and you are watching The Witcher 2, Assassin of Kings. And yeah, last episode we were in that stinky ass mine with these little hobgoblins with beards that just love to get in the way. I might as well just call them all ankles because they were so far up my arse that's all you could save them. So come on little baby ankles. Oh, you're not coming? Okay. I'll come back and I'll talk to you, fine. You're not going to get your fuck date by just standing there, are you? We need to speak with... Neither of you. Wait, who, why? Why? Yarpin, you want to arm wrestle, buddy? Who's this, my failing eye spy? Geralt of Rivia visiting old Yarpin Zegrin. Mm-hmm. Boom, we can. We can go straight into it. But let's find out all about what he wants to tell us. Did you fight at Brenna? I know you've got amnesia, but you couldn't remember that. Ah, oh, it was it's a not selective amnesia. On one side, six and forty thousand black ones. On the other, us, the Nordlings together. The Redanians led by De Reuter on the left, the Temerian regiments in the middle, and us on the right. The Mahakam Volunteer Army. All dwarfs. Even the likes of Kohor must have shit his britches at the sight of us. He hardly lacked courage as I heard it. All right, brave bastard, that's true. Prefer to die than run like a rat. I don't believe I've ever seen a bigger melee, except maybe three years ago here at Bergen. Would have managed here? that day too, even without the magic. That burning shit that fell through the sky. Why, even the dun banner knelt before us when we brought our battle axes down. Some say not one of the dun banners survived. Any truth to that? Biggerhorn nabbed the survivors as they fled south. The most men of the banner lie in the catacombs, along with a standard. The Dun Banner. What the hell kind of name is that for a unit anyway? It's as if they couldn't get their fucking flag clean. <laughs> well, we need the flag. So we've got to go to the catacombs. Were you in Rivia five years ago when they stuck a pitchfork? in Rivia when I got caught on that pitchfork. Was I? Fuck, Wolf, I saw you die. I didn't see the little bastard who took you for a haystack. But I swear it looked like you weren't going to make it. So I'm well glad you managed to lick your wounds. I don't know what you're talking anything. Come on, I had to. Not many have survived their own death. You haven't noticed that I'm pissing up wound again, fighting for a cause that isn't mine. No, I haven't. A free upper Adam is in the interests of any decent fellow. He's, he's got a point. I've been trying to figure out what Philippa Eilhart's doing in all this mess. Same thing as always. Conspiring until she gets her pubes in a knot. <laughs> I know you hate sorceresses, but try to put your animosity aside. Oh, you hate them, that's a fact. But why do you think that is? It's not because of their secret knowledge or their nice tits. Their hearts are full of dumb, Garrett. Mark my words. You exaggerate. No, maybe not all of them. Isle Heart's the worst. Need I remind you how she peddled her ass to Dijkstra just to learn the plans of the Redanian Intelligence Service? Everyone in Vergen knows she's not into cod. I tell you this, it's her ilk that caused the ruckus on Thanid Island. Think she's any different here? I'm crap at talking, girl, but you do all right. So I'd appreciate it. As soon as Saskia is better, slip a word in her ear to watch out for Philip. You know, Philip is... I mean, he knows a lot. He knows a lot about the sorceresses. They manipulate the humans, man, and, and politics. They're way up in everything. We've read books on how they're so very manipulative. Maybe she's playing it, but what's the, the grand Getting scheme? With the new we need to find out. Like holes in a brothel. They're plowing away at full speed. Saskia's army's full of men better at holding their pricks than a weapon. But Zoltan and I are helping them catch up. Most importantly, they don't lack spirit. 
Good. Won't defeat Hemsworth's regulars with zeal alone. Ah, uh, we'll show you what an army facing either victory or death is capable of. But we've no other choice, Geralt. Let's go. Arm wrestling team. Sultan claims you can arm wrestle like no one else. He's right. Did he tell you I beat him? Omitted that bit somehow. Oh, fart. Want to wrestle me? I'm ready for your challenge always. So? Yeah, let's go. Let's. Sure. What are we going to do? Can you pretend we're in a pub now? Teleport you to the pub with all ham fists. You got nothing on me. Hey, 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 hey. Laggy piece of shit. No. No. Nailed it. That's some training you received at Care Morton. Mm hmm. That's not training, that's masturbation. Oh, wow, we made everyone disappear. I'm sorry, Yarpin. You could have teleported me to the lazy fat. The lazy fat in. Polar bear in. Was it this way? Is this the way out? I think so. Aye, I think this is the way. We're still on night time, so what I want to do is quickly hit the right button, perhaps. Do a little bit of meditating. We'll meditate till noon so we can we can get all the merchants up. Hopefully there's one close by. And we can sell some of this junk. Look at this sword that we got last episode. Have you never have you never watched the whole way through? These are the spoils of war, check it. Badass sword. I know we're carrying far too much. I'm too stubborn to put down all of that ore though, so we'll go put it down in the bank. There's a wee craftsman up there, we could sell a lot of things. Maybe do that. We might get to the lazy fat lazy fat baron. It's not here. Hey! Lady Saskia will defeat We're protecting you. Mm-hmm. Do they not want us to win? Here so. Let's trade, buddy. He's got some good stuff, remember? Blue meteor or you No, know, I think we might we might be going for something like that. He's got some really nice traps. Harpy traps. Talga winter. What are you for? Slows foes down. What we want to do is get rid of junk like this. And... Wow, 90% poison? Why are we not using that? Get rid of them. Right, this stuff. That's better resistance wise than what we've got on. Screw it, we're getting rid of it. I think that'll do for now. I mean, we can get rid of the trophy. Let's just do 291. I don't think we have anything else to get rid of, do we? What junk do we have? Thank you very much. Now, I mean, since we're here, we can go see if the prince is still a little bit annoyed with his... I think maybe he will be, because he's a big girl. I'm not sure what we've done to upset him. We're going to quick save this team, because if it goes wrong, I think we're just going to have a... Get out! Wow, he is super solid. Do you know I've been down in a main... Right. Plan B. Meditate till midnight. We're getting his blood one way or another. Shit. Let's try this. Can we meditate in here? Do you mind? Do you ever sleep, guy? Let's have a look. Go till... 
Damn it, he's so vigilant. Okay. Forget it, he's a machine. I can't remember what we've done to upset him. If we speak to Philippa, I'm sure she'll give him a little clip around the ear. Get him to talk to us. Because we're Geralt of Rivia. We deserve a little bit of respect around here. Oh, a witcher. If I have to draw my sword and stab him in the gut, I'll get his blood one way or another. Let's head down here. We want to see Cecil. See you around. Shane Philippa didn't demand crocodile tears as a sorcerer's smell as an ingredient of the antidote of Saskia. I believe the witch would have had an easier time obtaining either of these. As it was, he had to acquire some royal blood, literally. There were only two potential doors. Hensel and Stannis. Uh, two potential don uh, donors. Blah, blah, blah. It's early. I've been recording all night. Um, Hensel and Stannis. Stannis is telling us to get out. Hensel's not going to fucking talk to us now, surely. Is that going to give us another option? Like, really, really? Surely not. No, I don't, be I don't believe that. I don't believe we'll be able to do Hensel. Find... We'll go find that next. And... Then we'll do the whole Philippa at a home thing. Geralt bested Yarpin, though not without eth effort. Incidentally, he learned that Scalin Burden, the Alderman's nephew, was the local arm wrestling champion, a fact that was grating on the old cr crew's nerves. Taking Scalin now a peg down would earn the witch the eternal gratitude of Zoltan's friends. We'll do it. We'll go do that. Arm wrestling god is coming up. And then we're going to go to Philippa's house and see, see if she can Let stop that. I forgot his name again, Prince Charming. Um, Skeldon, Sheldon. Arm wrestling. Let's go. Zoltan says your company are true arm wrestling masters. Unbeatable, last I recall. Is that so? Care to check if that's still true? Sounds good. Ready to take me on? I am indeed. Give me your best shot. Don't go easy on me, Scarface. Oh, oh! Nailed it. He travels the lands, killing monsters. Sure, there's no dwarf and blood in your family. I'll tell you when I get my memory back. Are we done? It's a new phase. Okay, what's the new phase? The name of the elder's nephew followed Geralt like a stench that follows an army. Zoltan's friends insisted the, wish the Witcher should tackle Skillin Burden. Don't be afraid of him. Skillin Skeggs? Wait, were we not just with Nothing old Burden boy? Oh. Wrong button. Wrong button all day. Are you in this pub? He's in the pub, he's just across here. Okay. Where are you at, Scaling? There you go. Oh, you're another man. Geralt, right? My uncle's told me a lot about you. Nice work with those spectres. And Saskia! Well, I wager the gods didn't think you could save her. Hey, we're not saved her yet. Cecil! I help him out here and there managing Vergen. Skill and burdens, my name. Nice Let's go, you. buddy. Uh, yeah, tell me about Place of Power, actually. Oh, it's him that. Yeah, we need to tell him. Okay, the main safe. safe again. Any plans to do something with it? Of course. As soon as the battle's done, we'll resume digging. Shame to let those rich deposits go to waste. My uncle says they'll put Bergen right back in his feet. 
Good. Sultan's talking about a shared enterprise or some such. He's to manage operations with my uncle as general overseer. We just got to save the time first. What'll you do when the battle rolls around? I'll be right out front fighting. Uncle Cecil's allowed it. Says I'm an adult. I'm gonna kick some kid when he has. No fears. Of what? My uncle believes I can do it. And Yarpin taught me how to swing an axe with follow through. I'll smash a few heads. Then go to the tavern and drink till I drop. If, if Yarpin's taught you, Jesus Christ. All you'll do is follow people. You'll be you'll be one of the ankles crew. Yeah, yeah, we need to give him a little bit of witchly advice. Battles are unpredictable, and this will be your first. You'll have to kill, wade through piles of bloody corpses, all the while watching you don't get cut down yourself. Sure you're ready for this? Ah, to tell the truth, I'm shitting myself a bit. Straw dummies. That's all I've sworn at so far. When I think on what's going to happen here. But... All for one, and one for all, right? Just don't tell my uncle, please. He's thrashed me a few times already for talk like that. I won't say a word. Is Cecil your guardian? Aye. Ever since my parents passed on. They took me in, fed me. Taught me a profession and how to live, really. How did your parents die? During one of the massacres Demavend arranged for us. But I'd rather not talk in that. Sure, sorry. Okay, let's arm wrestle instead, after you tell me about places of power. for places near Vergen where magic would be strong. Somewhere a sorcerer might have stayed. Well, let me think. Verfran, a summoner of elementals, once lived in the wood beyond Vergen. They say his creatures excavated the entire southern wall. You could also search the nearby ruins and abandoned crypts. If boulders with arms and legs aren't magic, then I don't know what is. That trolls? Look, another one. You We've already beat up a troll that we never wanted to do. Hey, come here. I'm not done with you. Scaling. Let's arm wrestle. Want to arm wrestle? I really like to wrestle, but. But no buts. You either want to wrestle or not. Do you know there's no one to match me in Vergen? It's not the contest of the century. I just want to test you. Steady on. I've got conditions. First, you have to beat Yarpen and Done. Sheldon. Show me what you're made of. All right. Want to take me on? Mm-hmm. Show me what you're made of. Let me tell you. I guess you never... and. You never knew? Hey, 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 hey. Oh, this one's a tough one. It's a tough one. But he's nailed. I believe I'd split a rock with my dick sooner than I'd beat you at arm wrestling. I guess that makes me the new champion of Vergen. No shame in losing to the White Wolf. Exactly. No, one who could still be a match for you. Oh, who? piss off. I thought I'd Mighty beat everybody. Numa. I wrestled him in Kovir. Couldn't move my arm for the next week. They say he don't play fair. But that's just losers talking. You ever wrestle him? Give him my regards. I will. Okay, do Let me tell you. So we've done a little bit of advancement there. Wait. Nope. That's more advanced. That's completion. Geralt tested his hand often and never lost his strength. This mutant, st that's mutant stamina for you. He defeated all the dwarves, including the best among them. Oh, who did he mention? Is he going to be in the third game then? The guy that he mentioned, perhaps. Is he in here? Ripper. There we go. The mighty Numa. The mighty Numa is Monica. Monica is not baseless. This huge man supposedly had inhuman grit, which made, which he liked to show off by, among other things, arm wrestling. He had no equal in this discipline. They say his grip could crush the hands of weaker opponents. Many tried to win the title of champion from him, yet nobody had managed to best him at this competition. 
Well, Mr. Matey Numa. If we ever find you, we'll beat you. What's the blue thing? There's a blue thing on the map. Lots going on around here. Aye, got a virgin dragon slayer. Squirrels dazzled with her. Politicking peasants, witches, and a witcher. I'm the witcher. Hope things get back to normal soon. <laughs> okay. He's, he's a blue man for some reason, not sure. Right, what do we do now? Um, Can't really do Royal Blood. The Eternal Battle. I think we'll try this one. Where... where are you? Carol? Where are you on the map, buddy? Not even sure anymore. Can I go up to my room real quick? Is this my room up here? I think this is... Yeah, this is my room over here in the corner. Because I want to put some stuff away. I want to put a lot of stuff away, actually. Let's get rid of this. Oh, can I not just press the button and get rid of it all? Iron ore. Goodbye, wheat. Timber. Goodbye, silver. Goodbye, twain. Oil. Nekati. We're doing one for eight. We've got plenty of room now, for sure. Think that should do it, maybe? I've read everything here. Oh, I never showed you guys this, did I? So, Margot's letter to Yoreth. Hey, get out of there. I was trying to show the people, the lovely people at home. <clears throat> so, Margot's letter. Ready? So, this is when we found out that Margot was kind of a spy. Kind of slash definitely a spy. So contrary to your claims, Enar Gossel is no collaborator. He yields to Laredo only as much as is necessary and is never servile. Um, Louis, Louis Mare, however, should be a target. He is kind of some sort to the commander, brought here by, uh, from God knows where, and has become the most important cog in the bureaucra bureaucratic machine. He dances to that... He dances to that old bag. Clovis's tune. You should get her too. I have a personal score to sell with her. Those from Lubendin are alright. Don't touch them. I suggest you make contact with an Anzika. Aniska? People have grown used to her trips into the forest. She could carry messages and nobody would notice. I think she might be a witch. At the very least, she helps my girls whenever they get into trouble. Someone will try to lynch her sooner or later, so you may offer a protection in exchange for her aid. I have no idea what you think about Melina. So, Melina wasn't on the payroll of Yarveth at all. She was just a sympathizer. And it was Margaret that was the, the spy. That's kind of cool. Inar um, turned out to be a good guy, which is kind of surprising as well. But she was basically saying which, uh, which non humans were going to be a problem and which ones were. Absolutely fine. Ain't going to sympathise. That I mean, that is pretty cool. So I figured I'd show you that. I meant to show you a couple of episodes ago. I'm not sure if I did. If I did, just disregard that completely. Right. Let's head on downstairs. Oh, we're in the cauldron. Okay. Can we? Oh, we don't need to faint. Told that story a thousand times. Now I've heard hey, of Let's go. God, he talks loud, I can still hear him. Not gonna worry about you guy. 
Where's the... Cr Where's my quest that I'm tracking? Is it not on the map? Wow, not on the map in any way. Okay. Which way's out? I think this way. Or we can go this way. Is that the catacombs over here? We'll try these areas. There's a merchant here. Mysterious merchant. He's got some armor that I really want. Can we trade? Would you sell me that armor? Oh man, it's, it's really good. The only trouble being... I'm not sure if we're going to get anything better. Twelve hundred. Okay, what can we sell? What sells for lots of pennies? Seventy-two. You know what? We'll come back. We'll come back later. If you don't mean, thank you. I'm lost. I am so lost. Talk to Philippa at home. Let's try see if we can do that one. These guys aren't going to let me talk to Philippa, are they? They're still standing guard. Ever vigilant. Only Philippa Isleheart may enter. Okay. That's a problem. That is a, a major problem. Wait, is this Philip? It's not a problem at all. We was going to the wrong place all the time. Oh yeah, just don't don't say a word, girl. That, that a boy. What is it, Witcher? Who is that girl? Oh Cynthia, dear, we're jealous? A leashed sorceress. A charming expression. Do you also use muzzles? Leash means a connection between a sorceress and her assistant. An unfortunate term, I admit, but it explains how things are. Cynthia can tap my power, use my spells. She's a conduit. And she's learning along the way. It's convenient, and except for the name, not derisive at all. But you're not here to talk about Cynthia. I've got the Emmertelli. Emmertel. That fucker is, is not giving me his blood though. So could you have a word with him maybe? Is that even an option? That's not an option. Bollocks. Okay. I'll tell you right now. I've got the flowers. I've found an Emmertel. Excellent. Hey, I'm not done. You wanted to discuss something? Mm-hmm. Let's let's talk about Letho. Letho, as we like to call them. Have you heard about a witcher's school? Apparently the Viper's their sign. No. Why do you ask? The Kingslayer wears a medallion adorned with a viper. Pretentious and childish for my taste. He can't be very smart. Ah, he's strong, though. A sorceress like you ought to know bundles about the wild hunt. A sorceress's knowledge has nothing to do with superstitions. The hunt's not a superstition. True. The phenomenon seems to exist. I want to know everything there is to know about it. It's strictly atmospheric. It doesn't interest me. Just as whirlwinds, whirlpools and snowfalls do not interest me. Okay. It's a bit harsh, but I get it. Is what they say true? Did Saskia kill a dragon? Prince Stennis decorated her for it at the court in Vengerberg, so it appears to be true. If you want to know the details, talk to Biggerhorn. Apparently he witnessed it. Who's Biggerhorn? Where's Biggerhorn? Why do they call him Biggerhorn? Has he got a big horn? How is it that King Radovid's court sorceress and advisor is supporting rebellion in Edirne? 
This has grown into more than a simple rebellion, Witcher. Prince Stennis' arrival here confirmed Saskia's right to represent Edern. Saskia isn't fighting for Edern, but for the Pontar Valley. Even Prince Stennis considers you rebels. He hasn't moved against you because war with Kedwin hangs by a thread. Why are you here, Sorceress of Tretagore? It is my duty. If Henselt occupies the Pontar Valley, Redania and Temeria will respond strongly. The North will disintegrate, its unity gone. A dark scenario that is nevertheless avoidable, provided Saskia is successful and wins the Valley's independence. Even if she thwarts Henselt, there'll be no independence without agreement from Redania and Temeria. Temeria's expansionist plans melted away with Foltest's death. Redania's ruler is unpredictable, but even he'll have to respect a victory. I'm here to make this victory a fact. Okay. I like it. She's got balls. I'm looking for Triss. Letho forced her to teleport near Vergen. Letho? Foltest's killer. Perhaps Demavend's too. Will you help me find her? Certainly. We sorceresses must stick together. We have too many enemies. Triss contacted you through Sheila de Tanzerville's megascope while in Flotsam. And I haven't heard from her since. What did she say? Can you locate her? A megascope responds to a person's aura. If I had something of hers, I could find her. You were close oh. to her. Maybe you have something. I think we do. No, I don't have anything. Are you sure? Not good. Wait. A local drunkard claims he saw a redhead fall out of the sky. This could be a lead. That's not a fucking lead. Oh, that's that's what the guy was talking about down in the bar. Okay, that's not a lead though. That's a witness. Um, the drunkard. We've already spoken to him. Yeah, we're going to get this. Heard of flying women before? Perhaps it's exactly what the delusions. the barman it's possible, said. However, that an unstable teleport ejected Triss near the town. As it's our only lead, I'll talk to this drunkard. Do you know him? I'm not used to associating with drunkards, but you'll likely find him in the inn. Thank you. Come back as soon as you learn anything. Hey, don't go yet. You wanted to discuss something. Yeah, we got more yellow things here. You said we'd need a magical object to cure Saskia. Any ideas where I might start looking? Magical items do not grow on trees, as you know. Luckily, this area has a long history. There's the Battle of Wraiths, the site of Sabrina Glevesig's death and suffering, the abandoned mines. We were in the mines. So be specific. I won't ask you to traipse around with a divining rod, but please try to be a little inventive. Ask the locals, that's always a good place to start. I dare say Alderman Burden knows every last stone in the area. Maybe you should see him. No, oh, we already spoke to a guy. Hey, come we here. We wanted to discuss something. Yep, we got one more orange thing. Here, look. Told you. At the council, you mentioned artifacts were needed to undo the curse. Hmm. But I can't look for them now. I can do that. Why? I have my reasons. Tell me something. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, what happened here? What happened here three years ago? Why was there a massive battle? Henselt attacked Edern, but met his match. Nobody won that war. Sabrina Glevesig got into a conflict with the commander-in-chief of the Kedweni forces, and this led to both armies being rooted. Fireballs turned the battlefield into a flaming tomb. Henselt accused Sabrina of using a forbidden weapon. And Sabrina cursed Henselt. I think so. I suspect the curse got out of hand because of the circumstances. Circumstances? The stars weren't right, wrong phase of the moon. There's always an excuse for simple bungling. She placed the curse while burning at the stake. Her hands and feet nailed to a wagon wheel. I'd say she did a good job considering. She cursed everything. Arms stretched out, cursed the whole land. She's fucking crazy. Okay, do you know anything about the curses though, by the way? That'd be very helpful. Know anything about blood curses? Do you? We're dealing with a fourth level curse, also known as the curse of the Archmistress. Well, well, I'm impressed. Thing is, until now I thought it was only a myth, that such a curse couldn't be cast. You thought wrong. There are six confirmed cases of this curse being inflicted. What about confirmed cases of it being lifted? One. Achieved by a team of sorcerers led by Archmistress Francesca Finderbear. Hence the, the name. 
Sabrina Gleverzig was on the team. Small world. That's not all. The curse investigated by Francesca and Sabrina was designed to end the Tyson dynasty, the rulers of Kovir. They were cursed by Scarlet Rodelega, a complete madman, but very talented. An eclipse and wraiths also accompanied his curse. So Sabrina's curse is just a knockoff Rodelega. Exactly. So how do we... F how do we find and fix that? Not all of the gr uh, ghosts were aggressive, did you notice? Can Francesca's experience help us? Certainly. I know the symbols and the workings of the curse thanks to her. Care to explain? I'm the one risking my neck. You'll have to relive the battle and change its course at the right moment. I don't know exactly what will happen. Nobody does. What? You're going to send me in there, I'll aren't look you? For those artifacts. You're going to send me back, fight a battle that I wasn't even involved in. Did you notice? Not all the ghosts were aggressive. Yes. Most just disappeared when they touched the aura of a living person. I think the curse corrupts the ghosts of the fallen and turns them into draugers. Is that the witch's professional name for wraiths? Draugers are demons of war. They arise at sites of exceptionally vicious, bloody battles. Their bloodlust and hatred in condensed form. Can you kill them by conventional means? A silver sword is enough for a draugr. But as long as the curse remains active, new ones will arise. The soldier's ghosts are the key. If I could turn the tide of the battle... For that you'll need symbols of war belonging to those who fell in battle. Hatred, death, courage and faith. All artifacts must be magically active and connected to the fallen or they won't lure the ghosts. Right. I'll look around. Finding two will be enough. Get the symbols of hatred and death and leave the rest to me. I okay. prefer courage and faith. Don't fuss. I'll see what I can do. Cecil seems to know a lot about the area. I think we're done. I'm good for now. I'll let you know when I learn something. Thanks for your time. Okay. We've got lots of new little quests, I think. And you know what? I think we might even leave that episode here. Um, Because we've got so much, so much shit to look at. Let's quickly run through here, see what's new. Nothing. Very nice. And what about the quests? So, hunting magic. One of the ingredients needed for the Dragon Slayer's Cure was a magical artifact. An item radiating powerful energy. The sorceresses, the sorceresses could not just create one on the fly. And it was time. And time was against them. So, the Witcher headed outside to ask around town about magical intersections, ruins, legends of any treasure, in a word about places where he could find an item of the kind he needed. Entering the streets, Geralt thought deeply about which townspeople would be best informed and about those who liked collecting stories. Everybody in the pub is going to like collecting stories. That's the Harry Baron, Cauldron. The Cauldron? That's where we're going to head. Royal Blood, where's Triss? Turned out that someone in Vergen might have encountered Triss. A dwarf had seen a red-headed woman fall from the sky. The witch had decided this had not been a passenger of an unruly broom. And <laughs> obviously. And assumed instead that it had been Triss falling out of a portal. He immediately went to see the dwarf. And I think that is what we will do. Because... Wait, have we got anything else? These crazies. One of the artifacts needed to lift the curse from the battlefield was to symbolise death. Having no idea what it what it was he was to look for, the Witcher took Philip as advice and decided to talk to Cecil Burden. Vergen's Alderman. Mm-hmm. Same again. Witcher learned to lift the curse from the battlefield. He would need memory, uh, mementos of the battle representing the virtues and horrors of war. Who have we Cecil Burden again? Cecil, you're getting involved in a lot of this stuff, buddy. I hope you realise that. Um, find a rose. Get your reward. we got to go see Cecil anyway for this one. So let, let us find out where Cecil is. He's kicking around somewhere. Up in the castle, next to the miserable bastard. Who's Haggard? Let's go see Haggard outside. 
vibrating. Of course it's vibrating. You need some powerful old magic here. Don't mind me. Just a little wander around. Just out of curiosity, how much does a magic course cost these days? I'm certain you can't afford it, Witcher. Besides, you're too old. No That's matter. not very nice. I have a few of my own tricks as it is. <laughs> you mean Witcher's signs? Hmm. Philippa can conjure up the illusion of a garden full of flowers, fruit trees, and young elves of both sexes copulating merrily all the day. And the illusion is complete. The flowers have an aroma. The fruit and she-elves are juicy. Invite me over the next time she conjures up this garden. I'd gladly see it. Professional curiosity. <laughs> Naturally. But I doubt Philippa's in the mood for complicated illusions. She focuses all her efforts on Saskia. Maybe you can conjure up. Who are you? I'm Cynthia, a mage in training. Philippa is my mentor. We know that. Condolences. No need for that. True, she's a demanding mistress, but she can also be charming. Besides, she's the best there is, Witcher. She has no equals. Excepting, perhaps, the old elven sorceresses. You should see her cast spells. Light and graceful she is. Not like that old tart de Tanzaville. Ah, oh, you know Sheila? You know Sheila? I've seen her cast spells. I've seen all the great sorceresses at work. Sheila's quite manly in her style. Precise, logical, exceptionally composed. But she lacks grace and suppleness. Is that your opinion? Or are you just repeating what Philippa says? We agree in our assessment. Triss Marigold, on the other hand, is talented. But she lacks determination, courage, and a certain cold willfulness that seems necessary. That's interesting. Kira Metz and Margarita Lo Antiel are both blasé, seemingly resigned. One's a hedonist and nymphomaniac, the other cares only about her school. They lost enthusiasm for magic long ago. Then there's a Francesca Finderbear. Nobody really knows what the old she-elf is capable of, but she's clearly very powerful. I take it Philippa has none of these flaws, but she must have some weakness. Ambition. Infinite. Boundless. And burning like the Korath Desert. Hmm, okay. Might be able to use that against her, somehow. Oi, hey, get in that lockbox. Forty-two orange. That was a score and a half. Okay, I think we're going to leave it there after we talk to Haggard outside. Because there's not much else to do without starting off a big old quest lane, I don't think. Let's see what items he's got to go. There was a lot of stuff right there. Thank you. See what items he's got to craft. Well, I'll be ploughed by a ferret. You don't want to get ploughed by a ferret. Geralt of Rivia. Ah, you're a witcher like any other. Those swords, things of beauty. Nothing special about them. Ah, you're mistaken. Few know how to make a silver blade today. Fish eat me if I'm lying, and engraving runes is not exactly farting down a rain spout. I wouldn't mind a closer look at your swords. Care to browse through my wares? Uh, only if you play some dice with me in a second. I want to trade anyway. I've just picked some shite up. So would you like like to buy said shite? Have a great time with that. We're at 12.57. I think we can go buy the armour. Oh, let go. This guy's got some good stuff. 1928. Let's see what swords he's got. Not exactly what I'm looking for, actually. We can craft a sword. 17. No, I don't really like it. Oh, we can make runes though. That might be pretty, pretty good. 
Plus 25 vitality, damage reduction on block, plus 5%. Resistant to incineration and incineration, plus 10%. We may have to make some of these runes. Damage to Sains, not really worried. Some of these swords are actually pretty good. 30-32, Robust Silver Sword, chance of instant kill 1%. Hmm. You know what? You've got some lovely crafting materials. Let's go rob this place. What have you guys got in here? Anything? Quite a few things actually. We'll take your orange, there's only 33, but we'll take them. Your iron and the other orange. Bruno, Cornelius. You playing dice? You play dice? Aye, us two and the Smith's apprentice. Okay. And that's it. In Vergen, there's also the headman, Cecil Burden, and the innkeeper. But they won't play unless you prove your worth. Which you could by beating us. Okay, yeah, we'll beat you. Let's play then. Show me what you can do. I was I'm going to end first. the episode. Right, let's go. I'm going to beat these two at dice. And then... Because we've got to go to the bar anyway. It'll all work out very nicely. we got to see Cecil. Oh. If I roll them just here like this. What's that? we got, what? Two pair. What have you got? Nothing. Damn. I didn't mean to do that, but hopefully two pair will do it. Did he have a straight? Yeah, he had a straight. You lost. All right, let's go again. Care for a game of? Yeah. I've got to beat at least one of you, little punks. Whoop. Oh bollocks. We got two pair. That's about as good as we're going to get. What's he got? One, two, three, four. He's got a fucking straight again. Are you kidding? I can't beat him. Pass. No way. You got a straight. You lost. I know. You're. Care for a game. You're a mahakim. That's what you're doing. Boink. So we have three of a kind. No straight this time? Oh, what's up with you? But he's got three of a kind. He's got threes, I've got twos. So we need to get full house. Come on, twos. Yeah, we've got. We'll go big. Yes! Four of a kind. Oh, did you not want that dice? Okay, I see. I'd like a rematch. Nope, no rematches. Now let Care me be. For a game of dice. No. Get the hell out of here. I'm, I'm going to play the other guy. Care Bruno. To roll a few rounds. That's just one round, please. Let's go. Got a video to wrap up. Let's keep them all on the table. No cheating, Bruno. No cheating, buddy. So we've got two pair. And he has... Just one. One pair. Come on, two or three. Yeah, we'll, we'll raise if you want to raise. Why not? God damn it, okay. If he gets another one. Sweet, thank you, you very much. To win it back. Nope, no chance at all. Have a lovely night. And that, ladies and gents, is where we're going to leave it. When two poker players have been completely outplayed, the gambling elite took the note of Geralt the witcher could face. Ah, the gambling elite took note of Geralt. The witcher could face the innkeeper. 
We're going to go see the innkeeper in the next episode because that's where the drunk guy was talking about the woman falling out of the sky, which is obviously Triss. Um, we're also going to see Cecil next episode, claim our reward for clearing out the mines. And what else are we going to do? Ah, there's other stuff. Come back tomorrow and find out. And I will just stare lovingly into your eyes and say, please subscribe. I love you all very much. Please subscribe, I'll do my yard insane for you. Thanks guys, catch you tomorrow.